ready to get your costume fitted on today. So this is because Comic Con is just around the corner. That's great. Well, when you came to see me, we made a little list in words of Gilbert and Sullivan. You have a little list here. And um, you have specific uh, measurements here which we took down. Uh, just to clarify, you had your waist. Yeah, that was it. And yeah, okay, so we got that. And then your chest. And yeah, we go around your shoulders and your sleeves and arm and the sleeves of your arm. And then we got your inside leg and outside leg there. And that was it. So we got all your measurements covered. And then we looked through some designs. Uh, designs which I think you would have been interested in. And of course, we know what you're going as. I thought that was a great idea that you wanted to go as a Jedi Knight, but not any Jedi Knight. We wanted to make it as accurate as we could to make your costume as similar to Obi Wan Kenobi's. Not any Jedi Knight, of course. And it's a great costume and perfect for Comic Con, and I think it will look really, really great on you. Like, really great. So, when we took down your measurements, and then we came up with some designs and, and the variations of Obi Wan Kenobi, and then you came up with um, a couple of little alterations here and there, which I think work really well. around the tabard area along here you just wanted those to be a little thicker along there so we made that a little bit thicker along the shoulder bits make your shoulders a bit larger make you have that more broader look along there so I customized those for you and tailored them so hopefully they look really great on you. I'm sure they will. And then lengthwise we made them just a little bit longer down there. So as it goes down, you have it going across your waist and then you have about about a foot to play with underneath for your table to hang. Uh, but of course we'll try that on and make sure it fits and behind you as well. And then we have the tunic underneath and then everything else which goes with it. We'll get through all of that. Um, so this was the design that you were looking at. And hopefully that's exactly what you wanted there. So does that look, look like the design? I was making this uh, with a big smile on my face, knowing that you was going to be wearing it and uh, enjoying it, because that's the main thing when you have these costumes and go to Comic Con, you get a chance to dress up and sort of method act, like encompass uh, that character throughout the day. And people want pictures and you make people happy. Just, eat, just dressing up simply like that so that's really great reason to cosplay and um, be characters from movies and everyone enjoys it you with like-minded people so I know that this is gonna look great on you we could do all sorts with your hair um, I can show you um, put it back and 
That would look really great in the episode too. That would be one of the movie. So I think those sketches. really gonna use all of this time. We've got plenty of things to try on, um, but there's simply one thing I ask all my customers to do, and a bit like with the fitting process, you just relax, and when I came close to fit you and take your measurements, you were nice and relaxed, uh, and it was highly enjoyable so good and you just switched off at the right moments and when you want to make a costume you can ask for anything better than that you were just doing a great job throughout so we took those measurements around you and uh, got what we needed came up with the design so I think that it's time to try it on and get you all dressed up, ready for your Comic Con, and uh, have the costume. Uh, the costume which you've dreamed of having, the perfect costume to fit you, and I'm sure that you're gonna love it. So, I think what we'll do first is get the under tunic. Now, we decided because it was Comic Con, it does get a little bit hot. So we had the option of doing the under tunic here, and Obi Wan Kenobi in Revenge of the Sith has this sort of off brown under tunic here, and of course when you put it on, uh, you just wrap it round shoulders and then pull it down, pull this over and it creates that sort of ropey tunic thing which like a samurai and uh, that's the under tunic of the Jedi costume but it can get a little bit hot so we don't need to try that on right now but I made it for you nonetheless to uh, take away should you want it just in case um, it's a cool little accessory along with the cape as well, uh, the rope, uh, just a little extra there, I know you mentioned you wanted to sort of stroll around and comfortable and loose and have the sort of tabards, sort of just waving and flying a little bit, um, so the option for the rope is yours as well, and it's yours to keep, as every Jedi costume I make a rope for, and I really wanted to
notice that the sleeves are nice and long as well so it will flow and feel really good on your arms and just feel airy and adventurous which of course is what you want okay so let's get this one on you Perhaps we will begin with your right arm. Okay. So if you just pop your right arm in there, excellent. And we'll bring it around like so. Exactly what we were looking for. So if you look at that, uh, this is sort of crossing itself over your chest and fits great. And if you just like to pass up your sleeve, just pull that out a little bit. A bit there. And your other one as well. Just Great. Well, as you can probably tell, it's sort of loose right now, but uh, we'll sort that out very shortly. So the next thing would be the tablet, which I uh, created. So, turn on my pointy pen. So, I'll put this here. These tablets, just so we can show you. Uh, of course, here, so it would hang um, probably like that, so a bit more on the front edge, the uh, front of your body, and then a bit, little less on the back. So, this will hang on the back of you, and this will hang at the front and then we'll use um, the same material to wrap around the sash uh, which will act as your belt and these will hold this belt will, or sash will hold the tablets in place and this will obviously you have two of these um, but as you can tell here when it sits on you because I made it this material a little bit thicker around here as you can tell around by the seams here it's double layered uh, which was a specification of yours you said you wanted to have that um, that extra kind of thickness like made it look like it was good quality and uh, matched the movies and uh, this was the way I came about doing it and, as we can see, it's stitched in there, and uh, yeah, so it doesn't sort of fold over itself and gets creased. It always remains like that in a nice shape. So if they imagine that was on your shoulder, which you'll see in a bit, it just simply flows there. So this is something that people will notice at your Comic Con. I'm sure of it. There's a little attention to detail bits like this, and uh, it will stand, make you stand out um, just that little bit more from the other Jedi Knights you, you may see. So, about to be yet just one on you there. We start off with your left one there, so we pop this over your shoulder. So like I said, we just need a little bit and a little bit more on the front and then on the back there. Yes, so that just hangs a little 
little bit less around the back so that looks looks about right time being let me just check my, my drawing to make sure so that goes down to about there to about there then we have the same on the matching see that they're both, both the same and they both have that extra layer on there and this is very really accurate uh, with these layers in here and there's thick tablets around you and it's, it's, as you can tell already it's sitting there nicely on your shoulder matching length as that's the most crucial and important thing when wearing this Jedi costume is that these tablets have got to be identical and mirror each other and match perfectly so that
it's sort of point out just there. Great. So it has that uh, nice, nice pointy out. It sort of sits there on your shoulders, and it all feels comfortable. Great. Well, I thought it would because, of course, this is customized to your body shape, so it should feel nice and snug on you. So the next thing, if you notice, of one Kenobi in the Phantom Menace, he has um, sort of matching color robes like trousers to his robes and then attack of clones he has a slightly lighter pair almost white uh, trousers or pants or bottoms how you like to call them and i would say trousers though and these trousers um, should be loose and you don't need to worry about how baggy they are at the bottom because they were tucked into Jedi boots. Let me show you. What I've done with these, uh, I've made them a little bit whiter, tied them a little bit whiter because you said you wanted to go for Attack of the Clones, but we wanted to be. So I've tied it just at the slightest touch. So it separates itself a little bit from your tunic. And what I've done, you won't see these as well, but I've added uh, this very soft rope Yeah, So you can do it up and adjust your trousers to however you want. I didn't uh, do a little short one, I made sure there's plenty of length so you can tighten it as you wish. Make a bowling or something. And then, what I've also added there as well, just a little bit of elastic in the trousers, so there's some give, but also mainly when you're walking around a Comic Con all day long, you want to make sure you've got the comfort and you're comfortable. So, this, these trousers, sure. Also, what I've done, I've stitched in some pockets there for you. Uh, you won't be able to see these as well, but I'm sure this would be, um, well, I know it would be perfect for you to carry your phone and essential things and tickets and badges and anything else you might pick up at Comic Con. So, camera. So, you're able to. Keep things hidden away um, out of everyone's eye. And also a stitch one in the back to have you as well, just as an extra one. Um, your tunic already covered this about there. And then your tablets would go down a little bit further, so you definitely won't be able to see any of these pockets. So if we just pop those on there. So we can make sure that they're a good fit for you. I'm quite sure they will be. There you go. Is that okay? Okay, then just do up the rope there. And that's tight enough there. Perfect. So you've got room to breathe. And then we just tuck you over that. Perfect. So, how do you feel right now? Well, I must say, you are certainly looking the part of you one. Now, what would you say if someone was going to greet you and you were in the character of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Don't disappoint me now. Hello there. Hello there. Perfect. So 
So that's the, the core part of the costume. So it is simply a matter of adding the essential parts now, which would be the Jedi part um, and then the accessories, which I'll show you shortly. We'll get that fitted on you. And then to finish it off would be your leather boots. And we'll get them fitted also, as so they can be a little bit tricky if you try and do it by yourself. And then we'll tuck those into your trousers. And then you are fully Jedi. Jedi business, I'm sure that you will be doing. What I've done with this box is just lined it with polystyrene just to protect the belt so you don't get any scuffs or anything like that, but it also doesn't rattle around, so everything fits in there quite nice and snug. Just take a quick look at your belt before we put it on. So this would be the main part of the buckle, and this has been moulded uh, to the Jedi belt buckle there. Um, exactly the same as the type of the clothes. And then the inner belt is held in between these studs here, so they're close and next to each other, so that holds that in place, but this allows you to attach the on the inner belt so it doesn't fall down. And that's where we clip your food capsules in as well. So how about that? I just create this all view and then we can put it on for you. So just get a look at the belt there. This was I've put some, for the attachment, some heavy duty, um, heavy duty velcro. So once again, you can adjust how you want it. And then to cover the velcro at the back, as you would see this, um, it folds over and then you can pop this leather belt over and this will cover. Great.
then we will pop your lightsaber clip on there as well. But as that moment, we have your Jedi belt. So I'll just pop that on you now and then straighten up your food capsules. And of course, the food capsules are ex essential. today there we go and like I said just round the back and that bit of velcro which just simply tape up and it will stay in place that's great so just straighten her up and those food capsules, the energy capsules. Make sure it's all nice and tight around there. It goes nicely around the sash on the belt. That's looking really great. How do you feel right now? It feels starting to feel way too because you are, and you are sporting it exceptionally well. But no Jedi should walk around uh, in bare feet. You need to complete your costume with the Jedi boots. And these, uh, I sent off the specifications for your feet, and you just wanted that. A uh, little bit more fit around your heels, which I've done for you. And that bit on the front of the boot, so I'll show you. And we'll get those on you, and then you'll be ready to enjoy it yourself. should fit perfectly on you, so it's a size 12, excellent, and these will feel nice and snug, and like I said, once you put them on, you'll tuck your trousers into the boot, so let me just get it out. This has a heel on it, so you won't be able to uh, feel uncomfortable when you walk in, and uh, it won't wear out at all, so you will be able to get away with plenty of uh, moving around. It should really affect your boots. Um, also, to do them up comfortably, um, the movie, movie accurate version, uh, the zipper goes in the middle and then you have a lace which does up with the zip and then material goes across um, but of course we wanted to make it to your specifications and your costs and things we opted for the side zip along here These bits here 
a, a velcro as well so you won't really see them but this holds in place uh, this material here which follows the limestone has been shaped and uh, really looks like a Jedi boot and then these are just extra bits of detail on there and just it does look more Star wars -y. and then to make sure that these stay level I've added uh, little pockets in there so these will always and soft so when you put your foot in there it will be nice and soft for you all inside and it should be quite nice and warm also so you will get lots of comfort there so why don't I pop these on view and complete So if you just step into that one for me there. That's perfect. How does that feel? You just move around a little bit. They look comfortable. Same again, just lift up your leg. That's it, the other one. Just tuck in your trousers there. And the other side. So there's a Jedi Knight standing right before me. Obi Wan. Well, you certainly look the part. Everything has just fitted you perfectly. So everything is comfortable for you, and uh, as close as we can get it to the sketches we made and measurements, and like I said, those little extra added bits of the pockets, and you can adjust the trousers how you want, and have that level of comfort with your costume, as well as the practicality, but also make it as movie accurate as we possibly can so what you came up with i hope that you're happy with um, with your design i hope you don't mind if i take a picture of you and my work which i've created you really look or something that would be great so. maybe one more you look really great and it's 
good to be able to have these to keep and um, I'll be sure to send them to you uh, so you can enjoy them as well so just feel nice and relaxed that's great you wouldn't look well now these are also good for references also close-up one that's great just a little bit further away great I have to make a fine yeah. addition to my collection so I'll get the boxes So, you'll be wanting to take your Jedi cape along here. I'm sure you would. So, we will get that. All wrapped up for you to take with you. And uh, boxes I will send to you. So, this. Is the inner tunic like we mentioned and then it flows down there and then again on the other side and uh, this will sort of drag and sort of fill up with air so as you're walking you will look quite epic and uh, I'm sure everyone will love it you and wish they were wearing one as well So thank you so much for choosing me to design and make your costume. It really was a great process to do it with you. You've been a pleasure and a joy and to create for and seeing how happy you are with everything only uh, in turn fills me with great happiness. And that's what I want the most is you to be happy with your costume there is nothing better uh, no more uh, nothing more enjoyable than embodying a character dressing up as a person and so you will have a great time at your comic con i'm very sure of it and uh, if there is another costume uh, which you want fitted and created and we're sort of putting on you that's relaxing that's possibly can then I'm more than happy and would love to be the person who fits you again you really can stand out and look the part I sense that you will be a great and wise Jedi Knight so take care of yourself my friend I'll be seeing you again soon